to this video um, I'm going to show you how to make the dress that you've seen on the thumbnail and this is the fabric I'm using this is um, a champagne colored satin you can also use polished cotton you can use um, or lightweight uh, denim is also a nice option um, the measurements that I'm working with are, and uh, the off shoulder measurements so you need to take the measurements from here around the body the off shoulder I'm working with is an off shoulder of 40 inches then um, you will need the sleeve length so you take the sleeve length normally as though you are cutting the sleeve to start from here all right so the sleeve length is um, the sleeve length is 23 inches the dress length so from the beginning of the elastic that will be up here to the one at the hem is 33 inches and then you need the hip measurement of 41 inches the hip measurement will be used for um, when we're fixing the elastic at the bottom part so let's begin to cut so the first thing we're going to cut is the um, top part of the dress so like I like I said the dress is um, 33 inches in length as I, I want it to be 30 inches at the end of the day so when you're cutting it you are going to make sure that you have a bit more than 33 um, so you need to have two inches of excess for when you are for folding and hemming and fixing your elastic at the top and two inches at the bottom so that's a total of four inches so I'm going to add a total length of four inches to the 33 inches I hope that that's clear so that's 37 inches okay alright if you are wondering how deep you should fold the 30 um, how deep you should fold the fold that you are folding because the 37 will be cut starting from from here going down what you're going to do is you're going to take that off shoulder measurement so the off shoulder measurement is 40 um, that's the 40 inches I'm going to divide it into four places okay because you've made a fold you will divide it into four places and then add five inches of um, allowance to it so the off shoulder is 40 inches 40 inches divided by 4 is going to give us 10 all right that's for one side 10 and then I'm going to add 5 inches to it to give some room for the elastic so that's 15 so 15 is what you're going to use all right after you folded 15 the next thing you're going to do now you're going to measure lay out the 37 that I, that I mentioned so we have our length of 37 at the top there so with this you can go ahead and cut after you've cut this you're going to need to make another fold and cut the exact same measurement that's going to be for the back of the dress so this is for the front this is the mid part of the of the, the main part of the front of the dress All right, so for the sleeve, we'll need to bring out the pattern paper because it gets quite tricky. So I don't advise that you do this onto your fabric directly. All right, so for the sleeve, the first thing we're going to have to place is our, our sleeve length. So remember I told you to take the sleeve length as though you are making a regular um, a shirt so, or dress. You see, we are starting from here. So the sleeve length I'm working with is 23 inches. We'll need to add 2 inches to that number. Uh, because remember we're hemming two inches at the top of the dress and two inches at the bottom so um we are left with 27 23 plus 4 two inches up two inches down equals to 4 so 23 plus 4 equals to 27 so you're going to come to the edge of your paper and you're going to place 27 okay so for me that's basically the full length of the paper i'm just a few um centimeters um i have just a few excess centimeters um centimeters of excess at the end of the paper um, so the first thing we're going to do now is this you're going to come to this edge over here and you're going to make a mark at five inches now mind you you've already added an um, excess onto the body that is already your off shoulder divided so we're, we're not worried about too much excess so these five inches you are placing here should be enough for almost anybody that you are making because this is the part of this is the top part of the sleeve that will be fixed onto the body so you see this part here you're going to come here make a mark at five inches the next thing we're going to do is now you're going to come in by four inches on this side here so if you can simply roll a line line in now you're asking why are we rolling this line for 
four inches. This part here is going to be attached to the body and it's going to be hemmed with the body. So you want this line to be straight because if this line is at any sort of angle, once you fold this, see this, as it's straight, when I fold it, it's going to be okay because it was cut straight. But if I went ahead to start drawing any curves anywhere, you would end up with a line that when you fold, you would lose inches or add or you would have excess at the bottom. So rolling a line four inches straight, that four inch, um, that, um, sorry, that um, four inches is the two inches that you have for your hemming allowance, all right? The two inches you have for your hemming allowance and where it is going to land at the end of the day, okay? Or around where it's going to land at the end of the day. So make sure you have that. So four inches, I hope that that's clear. Four inches in and then you stop it at that point. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to place to place your um, to place the 30, 37 inches that's supposed to be the length. All right. So how are you going to place this 37 inches? You are going to come here. All right. You see this, and you are going to make a mark at two inches because the height of your dress is at these two inches. It's not at here. All of this is your hemming allowance. All right. I hope that that's clear. So you're going to come from here, see what I'm doing? And we've seen that this is where 2 is supposed to be. So you're going to keep 2 here, and then you're going to come down to where you have 37 inches. So keep 2 at this point, and then look for where you have 37 at the end of your dress. So you're going to keep 2 here, and you're going to keep sliding your tape. Or matter of fact, just slide your tape. 37, check and see. Okay, 2 inches. You see how, I hope this damper is entering. Oh yes it is. You still have some excess at the bottom. So you keep your tape here 2 inches, you come down to 37. You see this? 2 inches here and 37 at the end of the paper. So you're going to make a mark over here. Alright? And then you're going to connect the dots from here to here. If you have a yard stick, this is going to be very very easy. Mine broke ages ago and I refused to get to get one for the house. Um, so I'm going to connect here all the way down there. Alright, after you've done this, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move to the hem of the sleeve. Alright? So how are we going to do that? The first thing we're going to do is at the hem here you're going to place because you've seen there's a lot of excess at the bottom. So you're going to come to the hem and you're going to place six inches. All right, you're going to come in by four inches, just like what you did at the hem here. All right, at the top part of the body here. That's going to allow you to hem your um, sleeve without having it squeezing in a funny way when you try to. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do, and I I know it's a lot of calculations, but following step by step, you would understand this. Next thing I'm going to do is at the hem, at, at the hem here, I'm going to come away by two inches, and I'm going to make a mark over here, and then I'm going to connect here, okay, from here, all the way to this four inches. All right. All right. So at the hem here, I want you to come up by two inches. All right. Now this part here, because we are folding, you want this place here. Fold the hem before we start cutting. All right. So right before you start cutting, you fold the hem exactly like that, and then you can start cutting. All right. See, because you cut it on a fold, you can see that when it's time to start hemming everything back, you would, it would be okay because it was cut that way. Um. So. Now, make sure that you differentiate where is where so that you don't end up twisting everything. So you draw an arrow like so to show you that that's the top part. And also I'm going to make a little notch when I transfer this to my um, fabric. So let's transfer it to the fabric. Alright, it's been a, an unfortunate incident. The uh, two and a half, almost three yards of sassine I was using is not going to work. So I'm using this instead to make it, instead of just getting upset and just not making this video. So I cut the main body afresh. 
from this fabric but the patterns and the method and everything still stay the same but I would say if you want to make this comfortably you need um, four and a half yards at least um, except you're a very smallish person um, if you're working with, if you have like a hip of 50 type body I would say you even use five yards um, to be on the safe side yeah well moving on what I'm going to simply do I'm going to simply make the fold with this place my pattern on top and cut all right Oops, my ring all right so I've cut out the pattern as you can see the next thing I'm going to do to differentiate this side from this side is over here I'm going to make a notch here so that I know where the top side should be facing at all times all right so now let's move over to the sewing machine all right so on to the first joining what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the sleeve to the body so how am I going to do that you're going to first locate where you made the notch all right Excuse me. all right so you're going to locate where you made the notch and then you're going to take the top of that part and align it with this top part over here and then we're going to stitch from here all the way down to the hem, alright? Alright, so on this side we have attached we have attached the shoulder on this side so the next thing is to join the sleeve to this other side over here I'm going to do that off camera because it's basically the same thing what I've done here alright so here you can see this is the shoulder and all the excess that we have so now the next thing you're going to do you're going to fold half inch and then you're going to fold full 1.5 down to where you have this fold here and you're going to stitch here all the way down you're going to keep folding the half inch as you sew along now because of how we cut it you'll see that all the points would meet and there will not be any squeezing or twisting over here where here would fold a bit because the outside the outer part is longer than the inner part so all of that will not happen because of how we cut it with all the excesses in place um, yeah, but when I'm going to start stitching from here, I'm going to stitch, but before I get back to here, I'm going to keep a space of like four inches so that that will allow me to insert my elastic when I'm done with this. All right, so. All right, so the next step is to cut my elastic and you're not going to stretch the elastic when you're cutting it. You see this? You just lay the tape on it, go down, and the off shoulder I'm working with is an off shoulder of 40. I'm going to subtract, uh, subtract uh, 3 inches from it um, so that it doesn't fall off the shoulder. So I think 3 inches should be okay. Plus the 1 inch I'll consume when I'm sewing. So the, there's a 7. I'm subtracting 3 inches from her shoulder and using that to cut the elastic. Alright? Now, if you have a safety pin, this is going to be a lot easier, but for some reason, I don't know why I can't find mine. So, I'm going to use my regular needle and pass it through. You can see what I'm doing, I made a knot there, and then I'm going to go over it one more time. And then, and then I'm going to use this to pass through the hole. That you kept so you can see I kept a hole here that allowed me to go inside um, this place here and then I'm going to simply guide the needle all the way now you see the way I'm putting in the needle I'm putting it with the blunt side of the needle facing forward not the sharp side so the sharp side is facing out here so because of I'm using the blunt side that would allow the head to flow smoothly through all of this all right you want to gently guide the elastic in and then just simply push this all the way out. Please be careful not to drag the elastic in entirely. If not, you have to do this all over again. So make sure that you always have like, you can see 
like at least six inches of elastic outside um, outside here. So let me go around. So you see, with that I have fixed the elastic at the shoulder. Next thing I'm going to do is to simply cover up the rough this um, opening I have over here. All right. All right. So after I have done this, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the sleeve and I'm going to stitch half inch from here, all right, from here all the way down to the end of the sleeve. All right. So I'll do the same thing on this side as well. I'll just sew from here all the way down to the hem. Okay, so I was hoping that I would fold, I'll spread, sorry, I was hoping I'll spread the sleeve open, fold half an inch and fold the 1.5 and stitch around, but this is pretty tight. So I'm going to loosen from here up to here just so I have enough room to lay this part of the sleeve flat so that I would hem it and then fix the elastic through it. So my bad, I'm going to loosen just a bit from here up to here and then I'm going to tackle it from there instead, alright? Let me loosen from here up to the edge of the sleeve so we can lay it flat. Alright, so now I've laid it flat a bit, you can now come back, fold half an inch and fold 1.5 and then you can stitch from here all the way down and pass our elastic through it before we seal it back up, alright? So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of the sleeve as well. Let's fix the elastic in the sleeve. So the opening we have here, just like what we've done before, you're going to simply pass your needle through it. All right, so after passing this through, I'm going to use the needle. I'm going to use a needle to hold this in place like so. And then I'm going to simply drag out the elastic. Now, mind you, I cut the elastic, that's this elastic that's inside here, using um, seven inches. So I cut it seven, to be seven inches long, which is um, just a bit over what my wife's wrist is. All right, so I'm now going to stitch from here all the way down all right so now we can seal this part here back all right all right so after doing that last thing next thing and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to hem the bottom part so you can see this part here we're going to have to hem it just like we did the top half inch first and then 1.5 all the way around but when you start from here you stop right before you get there so that we can pass our elastic around the bottom like we did uh, at the top all right so now i'm simply going to pass my elastic through here All right, so I brought out the elastic. I'm now going to stitch here, and then I'm going to seal the hole that is left. I forgot to tell you, the, um, the elastic I used at the bottom part is six inches smaller than the hip measurement. All right, so that's how I cut the elastic. So once I do this and seal that, I'm done, all right? If you've watched this far, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.